from New York seek recognition? Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I rise today at a moment when tragically women's rights in the United States have been greatly diminished since last year's Women's History Month was commemorated. While we will continue our month-long celebration and observance of women's history, it is just as important for us to focus on the future that women will face as it is for us to reflect on the achievements of the past. Access to abortion is no longer a constitutional right, full stop. Access to life-saving abortion medication, even in states where abortion is legally protected, is under threat. Teenage girls and young women are facing unprecedented rates of trauma, violence, suicide, and maternal mortality. We still have not achieved equal work for equal pay, and yet we continue our celebration this month with all the same. That is in part what makes this month so special. From Harriet Tubman liberating the enslaved to President, excuse me, to Vice President Harris, inspiring women and girls across the nation that they too can dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see themselves in a way that others may not. We're making progress, and our work is not yet finished. In closing, happy Women's History Month. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time.